Somewhere between Tennessee and Kentucky, there's a story told by a southern grandma whose grandchildren must have loved a spooky story. I'm your host, Regina Helton, and on today's episode, we're going to dive into a story about unseen horses and a mysterious horseback rider. Welcome to History and Mysteries. My grandma wasn't a woman who wanted to tell ghosts or spooky stories. I would have to beg her to tell them to me. After a ton of begging and persuading, she would finally tell me one. This is one of the oldest spooky stories that I can remember my grandma. Well, let's not be fancy. I didn't call her grandma. She was my granny, and everyone who knew her called her granny. Now back to the story. One of her oldest stories comes from the mountains of East Tennessee, and it's about unseen horses and a mysterious man in black on a horse. And the story goes like this. Granny was from a large family. She was born in 1931 to a coal miner. Her mother and father had three children together. Her mother passed away when she was a young girl, and her father remarried. In his second marriage, he had three more children. She, when she was a young girl, maybe an early teenager, she would walk with her sisters and brothers, sometimes some friends, along an East Tennessee mountain road, somewhere between Tennessee and Kentucky. She said there was a theater and they would go watch shows there. They would walk the road between the two states often at night. Everything is scarier at night, right? She said on many nights the crew of siblings would hear horses running towards them. She described the sound of running horses to be so loud and so close to them no one in the group would dare to turn around and look. Their instant instinct was to run and try to get out of the way of the horses behind them. On one occasion, they ran to a fence and jumped up on it. But when they all looked back towards their own, there were no horses to be seen. On another night, while walking back from the theater, the girls were lingering back behind the boys. The boys were up ahead some distance between the two groups. And the girls heard the slight sound of a horse's feet approaching. Not running this time, just slowly walking. When the horse was near them, they could see a man, dressed in all black, riding the horse. He wore a long black coat and a black hat. My grandma would make the mannerism of how the man was holding the hat down over his eyes. He slowly rode by the girls on his horse, but he never looked up, he never spoke. The girls watched him slowly ride by, heading towards their brothers and friends uh, in the group in front of them. The other half of the group was way in the distance at this point. When they could no longer see the horsemen or their brothers, they ran up to catch them. When asked if they saw the man on the horse trot by, their brother said no. But he went right by you. We didn't see him, was their reply. No one in the group had seen the horsemen except for the girls. But everyone was walking on the same road, in the same direction. Yet only one group witnessed the mysterious man in black riding by on a horse. Who was he? Was it childhood imagination? Maybe it was just their imaginations running wild on a dark mountain road at night. Then again, the mountains of East Tennessee are filled with some spooky tales. 